well, everyone, before the iPhone XR, there was another iPhone that a lot of people, I think, weren't really happy with. And even nowadays, besides it being the oldest iPhone that's supported on iOS 15, I think a lot of people would look at a phone like the Success and be somewhat disappointed or be somewhat like, you know, why would anybody buy this phone over an iPhone 6? You know, it was such a minor upgrade. And that was a very, you know, averaged out opinion for a lot of people back in 2016. I remember, you know, having, you know, an iPhone 6, I think at the time, and I was looking at these 6 Pluses and Success Pluses, and I was thinking to myself, you know, which one would be a better option here? And from what I could tell, you know, there were not a lot of crazy differences at that moment, but looking back, it's crazy to see how many people actually didn't really like the update or the upgrade to the iPhone success. And nowadays we look at the success in the iPhone 6, and I would rate it personally as one of the biggest upgrades Apple has ever made from one iPhone generation to the other. Now, the reason why I think a lot of people didn't really think the success was that big of an upgrade and why some people probably hated it was because the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus looked almost identical to the successors. There were very little differences on the outside. They pretty much looked exactly the same thing. And after the issues that some people were having with the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus with the Bengate issue, I think a lot of people were like, well, why would I go buy an iPhone success? I would probably wait until the next generation. And also so many people bought the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus that you know, we had the best selling iPhone of all time or one of the best selling iPhones at the iPhone 6 and then one of the worst selling iPhones, the iPhone 6s right next to it. So it's very interesting to see how Apple went ahead and kept supporting that, you know, success for so many years with the iPhone 6 ended up getting, you know, supported until iOS 12, which really wasn't that long compared to the success. On top of that, internally, the 6S got so many changes. First of all, we got Touch ID 2, which was really cool. That's still being used, I think, on the iPhone SE 3. We got a newer chip for the A9 chip, which was much more powerful than the you know, A8 chip. We got the first time that we had 2 gigabytes of RAM on an iPhone. That was a really big deal, in my opinion. Now, I mean, that's still not, I mean, that's not a crazy amount of RAM anymore, but that was a pretty decent amount of RAM up until like 2019, if I'm being completely honest. On top of that, this was the first time that we had 4k resolution that we can film in on the back of these iPhones as well and then we went from 8 megapixel count to a 12 megapixel count and it's been 12 megapixels ever since then so I think that was another really big thing to keep in mind as well so when I look at the iPhone 6 and I look at the iPhone 6s the iPhone 6 on paper was a better phone and you know it made Apple a lot more money they also I think had to spend a lot more money to fix those issues with Ben Gain and stuff but the 6s I think was a much more powerful phone it was a much more impactful phone in terms of the long you know grand scheme of things but also so I think when we look at some of the comments back then of the success and why people didn't really like that iPhone at that time was actually mostly due to the hardware on the outside. And I think that's kind of what's going on with the iPhone SE 3 now. People are just kind of sick and tired of the same design. And I think it really does take, you know, visual changes for designers and for Apple to go ahead and just to, you know, continue selling a phone at high levels. The 6 was a pretty big redesign. The 10 was a pretty big redesign and so on and so forth. So that kind of covers it. If you have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.